So I've already prepped this clay. Potter John Coiner has lived in a lot of places over the years. My father was in the Navy. I grew up traveling my whole life. Clay. And so as, as I got older, I realized that's what I wanted to continue to do. So John needed to find a way to do the two things he loves most, travel and make ceramics. By doing Renaissance fairs, they were on for half the year, and the other half of the year I could be off and uh, traveling and exploring. So here's where John lives for that half a year, on a plot of land just a stone's throw away from the festival where he has a couple booths. I bought this piece of property not really intending to to live here. But the ambiance of Renfair Drive lured to John in. It's great. So much so that to most people we prefer not to have to leave the street and deal with the rest of the world that's out here. And most of the people who live in this community don't have to leave the street, using the land's resources to survive. A handful of people who live on Renfair live off the grid, meaning they use solar panels for electricity and propane tanks to cook. And that's something a lot of people I've talked to today are striving for. No, but they, Including John's neighbors and good friends, Allie and Brian. Everyone here wants to be independent of mainstream society. The owner, George, years ago when he first bought the property, set this whole road up so that us Rennies could buy land here and set up our own little community. And that's just what it is, a place for like-minded creative artists to set up shop and make their craft. It's a very unique community because everybody's creative in one form or another. And you can be social or you can be a hermit and, and hide away. A place to call home for Rennies who live on the road that most never want to leave. As Jenny Walsh, KAGS HD News. Stiffer, I'm going to cut them off from the bottom and then I'm going to... A little water, not too much because water is your friend but also your enemy.